CTV News, Vancouver Island Report. Good evening, thanks for being here. Hudson Mac is away. An abandoned building in the center of downtown Nanaimo is becoming the center of attention for all the wrong reasons. The old A&B Sound building on the corner of Terminal and Commercial has been vacant for almost half a decade. Some businesses in the area say the giant purple structure is driving away tourists and downtown traffic. CTV's Chandler Grieve has the story. Some around town call it Nanaimo's Barney, the big purple dinosaur. But unlike the children's TV character, it's far from friendly. It's an eyesore, okay? Disappointment. Colored blocks. The building on commercial and terminal is now an old purple eyesore. But in its glory, it was music to the ears for thousands of people. a and B sound. Yeah, memories for sure. But the last CD was sold here four years ago. And since then, it has sat empty and ugly. Somebody needs to clean it up and fix it up because downtown is sort of looks like it's trying to get a recovery, and that is a total eyesore. It's up for rent, but the Vancouver-based owner wants $280,000 a year. So far, no takers. The realtor marketing the property says the owner is now considering other options, including demolition and subdivision. The Downtown Business Improvement Association would welcome any move that would bring new life into the area. One of the interesting business cases that we've heard is a public market. Right now, Terminal Avenue and Nickel Street redevelopment is high on our list of priorities. So that would fit right in with that. The fact that the purple building is located at the intersection of commercial and terminal is adding to the problem for many that rely on business on this side of Terminal Avenue. They say this building, which once was an anchor tenant, is now doing quite the opposite for business. I think it's very essential to downtown that that be revitalized. Quintessentials is one of those shops that relies on tourists and traffic to venture past the old pink building. It is an anchor building um, to the four corners of seeing downtown through our highway. And if it was uh, revitalized, I think that downtown would um, begin to prosper even more than it's already starting to do so. Collier's International will continue to work with the owner to try and attract a new business to the property. But with no immediate plans for the big purple dinosaur, some in Nanaimo fear it will never become extinct. Chandler Grieve, CTV News, Nanaimo.